All right, hi YouTube, and uh, welcome to another Matthews modeling video. Um, now, this one, as I said in the last video, um, I was going to kind of do like a mini spin off series within the Matthews modeling videos called The Wagon Works. Um, and I've been waiting on some things and collecting up some items so I can do a large, a larger wagon project. Um, and I've got everything now. So, uh, I thought I'd best show you uh, show you my plans. Um, now, as well as this bigger project, um, I have been tweaking some other wagons. Um, so I thought what I'd do is show you the slight work that I've done on some already, um, and then get onto the bigger the bigger picture, which is uh, how this whole wagon works thing came about. Um, so the first ones, if I just roll them into shot. Um, here we have my three, how should we say, older Hornby wagons. Um, the two box vans I picked up at uh, the last Keith and Model Railway exhibition, um, and then the longer rail freight OBA, is it? Um, I've had since I was poor, way, way back as a child when I had my first layout. Um, and basically, what I've done with these three is I've just given them a slight weathering. Um, the rail freight longer wagon um, that's been weathered for quite some time now. I worked, that was one of the first wagons I worked on when I got back into my modelling. Um, so it already has a, a good heavy dose of weathering on it. Um, but since then, I've gone over and given it all a black wash and picked out some of the details in it. Um, the brown van that was in pristine. Um, again, all I've done with that is gone over with a black wash. And the camera might not pick that up, um, but it is there. Um, I mean, I can see it from here, so we'll have a zoom in anyway. And then the grey one on the end um, that had a light dusting of weathering, um, and again, I've just gone over that with a with a black wash. Um, I'll try to zoom in. Um, so you may be able to pick up the black wash there on the brown van. Um, the details on them <coughs> are a bit more uh, defined now, um, and then the OBA. You know, I've always been proud of this OBA. One of my first weathering attempts and detailing job when I got back into modelling, and I'm always happy with how that came out. Um, so, like I say, it was quite heavy weathered anyway. Rusty axle boxes and under frame, and then the the whole side has a dust to it. Um, I don't think I'm finished with that. I think I'd like to add some replacement planks into it as well. Um, I may be able to just slightly tip it up. Show the detailing inside, the ballast and barrels and a wheelbarrow ladder. So yeah, it's always been a favourite as that wagon. And then just the grey one on the end, which you can tell has been weathered. So just three older wagons there that I just wanted to... Uh, tweak up a little bit and see if I can improve um, which uh, I have done so they're the first wagons to take a look at in the wagon works now I'll take these off the track um, and I'll bring a couple of other ones in that I've been working on lately as well so just give me a second right okay and uh, and here it is um, as you can see it's um, it's the tender wagon plan that I had from the uh, the subscribers project vote um, it didn't win and um, the winner of that video will be revealed um, in an up-and-coming video very very shortly um, but as for this yep tender wagon um, now as you can see it's um, well it was a private owner wagon but it's uh, you can't say it's private owner anymore it's been heavily weathered replacement panels have been added um, the reason I've got it this way is because the other side isn't actually as, as weathered as this side and doesn't look as good in my opinion so until I've got that side done <coughs> um, I'm showing it from this side um, so yeah the uh, the metal framework's all been rusted up um, you can't overly tell you can just tell slightly on on this side that looks a bit rusty and um, the under frame is slightly rusted up um, and then for the end of the wagon, I've just cut one of the panels out and took a, a sharp Stanley knife and just slowly slowly cut away down the sides and then trimmed up the edges. Um, 
and then it's all of a wash black washes inside where the core would be um, the core load is actually the original plastic one that comes in the dapple wagon um, now I've kept that in purely because I wanted to create that sloping effect um, as if where the driver had climbed out around the back and you know they'd been shoveling the coal so the plastic molded uh, insert was quite easy to bend um, all I did was put that over the hob melted it uh, ever so slightly just warmed it up and then you know bent, bent it to shape um, and then glued it in um, and then across the bottom um, across this bit here along the bottom of the wagon the wall where the coal load is I've actually melted the coal load um, to the wagon base um, it kept uh, kept popping up when I glued it so I've melted it all down which has given a nice effect actually it does actually look like there's a shoveled um, a shovel patch along the front you know where the coal's fallen down he's just been taking it from the, the bottom so <clears throat> happy with that it's another unique quirky wagon for a common barn um, I actually haven't seen one of those modelled before on a railway so yeah I'm very happy with it it's looked good with the Jinty going round and um, the Jinty has also now been weathered so that again will be another video coming soon um, but for now that's the next wagon that's been worked on so we now have a tender wagon right I'll stop it there and I'll get the next one bear with me a second right and here is the next wagon um, as you can see it's the shunter's truck it's the uh, the Hornby version <coughs> um, longer subscribers will know I've had this a, a while um, I was quite excited when these came out um, and I got one straight away and I actually weathered this one straight away um, it didn't stay new very long um, weathering wise it had um, just a good dusting dry brushing absolutely all over it um, so it has a good layer of grime um, all the way around um, I also um, you would see it at this end and um, the coupling hook has gone um, and there's just one longer hook um, a bit higher up the wagon this was because but this was because um, I had this permanently attached to one of my nightwing shunters um, and it was chained up with this and the shunter and I, I kept that permanently attached for quite some time um, but as you can see it's not on there now um, I'm not going to put the coupling back on um, I only need the coupling at one end um, <clears throat> so yeah and I don't use it that often to be honest um, I'm after another one actually um, I shouldn't have found should really have a, a couple of these at least so since getting it back out and reusing it um, it's had a, a black wash all over which has just dulled it down even more um, then I've added a barrel at one end a black barrel um, and then on the other end I've added a red lamp um, and now I love it even more um, I love the addition of the lamp um, I am going to try and bob a figure sat on there sat on that toolbox in the middle maybe um, so yeah it's uh, been pootling up and down behind the uh, the yellow sentinel this week and uh, yeah quite happy with how that's looking now a nice detailed uh, detail shunter's truck I think the lamp on the end really really adds something but yeah so there we go uh, now that is actually the last single wagon um, I have to show you um, then what I'll do now is I will uh, I'll get out the larger project and we'll take a look at that so I'll just get those out now right um, and this is the start of uh, of what's to come and as you can see it's a little brown wagon <coughs> um, right so of late um, I've been going down my NCB theme um, and I think I spoke maybe a couple of videos back I don't know about um, trying to get hold of some NCB rolling stock um, there's a lot of things out there there's a lot of new things a lot a lot of old um, old wagons, um, Lima versions and things like that um, and my initial plan was to try and get maybe one of each and just have a really really um, mixed you know NCB train of wagons um, but that could take a while 
um, and it could get quite expensive, you know, some are old and rare, and the newer ones are just, well, expensive anyway, like uh, most new model railway items, so I had another idea, um, and that was to try and pick up some old wagons, um, and just make my own wreck, so that's what I've done. Now, as you can see, this is a little brown private owner wagon of some sort, um, has the letter in DCA on it. Um, and it is an older wagon, um, but it's in excellent condition, it's in as new condition. Um, the only thing wrong with it, well it's not even wrong, the only defect to its newness is it's had some sort of load um, glued inside, so in the bottom of the wagon <coughs> there is a bit of dust and residue from what from whatever was stuck in there, but that's that's not a problem. Um, and well, as you're probably guessing, that this wagon isn't one on its own. Um, so I mean, if, if I just zoom out ever so slightly, there's this one. And then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we have a nice nine wagon rake here to work with. Um, as you can see, all in brown in this DCA livery. Um, so yeah, so I saw that on eBay. Thought that would be perfect. <clears throat> um, that whole rake of nine wagons was twenty-five pound. So nine wagons for twenty-five pound bit of a bargain uh, when you think that you know most new wagons are double figures anyway so you know for nine modern wagons you're going on for towards a hundred pound there so <coughs> bargain um, now these are older wagons as you can see they have the older coupling on not a problem um, in there and this is the worst one um, you can see the residue and things from glue um, and they do all have plastic wheels, so one of the plans is to upgrade the wheels um, As you can see I've done this one already to metal um, I have metal wheels ready for all of them to be able to do them all um, These are the wheels that came off these older white walled plastic ones um, So <clears throat> yeah, all the wheels will be replaced um, and then they will all be painted. Um, now I've had a look at them. The tops of the wagons look like they'll pop off quite easy. There's just four retaining lugs underneath the wagon just to, you know, prize away. Um, and they'll all be painted. Now I've been looking at liveries for NCB wagons. Um, and they came in a variety of colours. Um, obviously there's a lot of private owner wagons which are in a lot of colours, but actual NCB wagons, um, the main colour that gets thrown up a lot is red. Um, whilst Googling, I found a lot of red NCB wagons, um, and they're real photographs, not model ones, actual prototypical wagons. So I think I'm going to go for red. Um, just to mix it up a bit, um, I'm going to throw some colours around. Um, now I've got a little a little spray paint collection from my uh, boy racer days <laughs> um, so I think what I'll do is I'll do a few um, in quite a, a bright red um, and then some more in maybe a duller red, maybe a red oxide um, and then I'm toying with maybe a couple in like a, just a flat grey like a primer primer grey um, and then that way I've got a bit of a mix and variation in colour um, I have sourced um, with help from my mate some NCB wagon transfers from Fox um, so I have that uh, that page open on my internet ready uh, ready for when I need them so everything's in place um, and I'm looking forward to doing it and it should really be a fairly quick a quick job I know there's nine wagons um, but swapping wheels around is a two minute thing um, and then painting wise, like I say, I'm spraying them, so, you know, a few sprays, maybe a couple of coats, um, and then they'll be done. So, I may do may do something a bit different for this one, I may film as I, um, 
as I work, like I did with the destruction of Common Barn, where I sped up the videos. May do that. Um, but yeah, so hopefully. And this will be the longest rake I actually have on Common Barn. Of you know one particular wagon. So looking forward, looking forward to doing it. it should be good. Um, but that is it. <clears throat> so. That was the first instalment of uh, the wagon works and um, like I said there will be um, will be an update video on how this goes this this large project um, next video is to expect the Jinty um, I'm gonna have a finished video on the Jinty um, there will also be the subscriber project vote reveal um, people may check the comments and uh, gathered what that will be um, and then, well, and then really I should get round to a common barn update. Um, you know, plenty of other things uh, that I haven't been able to get on with late. So, yeah, that's what you can expect. Right, I'm going to stop the waffling now. Um, and I'll speak to you all in the next video. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.